Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to my channel that is Udu for beginners. Today we are going to discuss and demonstrate a powerful and hidden feature of Udu that is domain on rules. That is regarding with that routes and rules might be you have heard it first time but this is very powerful feature that saves your time. I am going to demonstrate this one use case so it will be more clear and this is introduced in Udu 18 first time. So let's consider we having that warehouse, that warehouse it's a three step that following those incoming shipment in three steps. So it will be a first step vendor to input location, input to quality location and quality location to stock location. But we want that for some of the product category it follows this three step and for some of the product category it follows this two step. So till 17 what we are going to do, we are going to create a new route that named as a two steps and then that route will be applied to that product category. So if the product belongs to those product category it will follow the two step and if product category products belongs to those, those uh, product category that follows the three step it will be behaves like that. But here using that feature which is domain on rules there is no need to create the another route. You can do everything in that route only. Okay, so now let's do that. Now here I have this my product category. Let's go to those product categories. Two product category, pigment. I want if the products belongs to pigment, it follows the two steps. And if the product belongs to resin, it follows the three steps. So what I am going to do, this is my warehouse, which is the techuaria. Going to routes. In the routes itself, here we can see that receive in three steps. Vendor to input, input to quality and quality to my stock. I want for pigment product category, the quality location is not necessary. The products will directly move from input to stock location. Means this step, there is no need to involve in the pigment. So what we can do that, just let me open this route rule. Here you can see that we have a feature of domain. I'm just going to add it new rule. What I want, I want the product, in product, I want product category. So I am searching for those product. In product, I am searching for category. Okay, so this is product category, which not belongs to my pigment. What is my condition? If the products belongs to product category, then my products will not move from input to quality. It will move from input to stock. Okay, so here this explains that if it will be pigment not move from input to quality then what happened it will move from input to stock so just let me save it now again i'm going to add that input to quality this is my push to and this operation is my internal transfer which is from input to my stock okay everything is perfect yeah, let me save. Now this is clear. Now I am trying to do those test cases. Purchase. I am purchasing from any of vendor. My product belongs to, it's a piggy. Okay. Let me make it quite bigger. Let's check it belongs to pigment or not. Yes, it belongs to pigment. Now just I am going to confirm it. So now here you can see that receipt is created which receives the products in input locations and next transfer is created and here you can see that it's from input to stock and only two steps and going to validate now products in my stock location. Let's do the test case for others. Okay. So I'm just creating one more when the same. I am selecting any resins products. Okay. Resin one is there. I'm just going to confirm. Receipt is there. Going to validate its input locations now here you can see that the input to quality location is that this is my two step going to validate and next transfer from quality to stock so just using those domain you can just modify that route and it will be in seconds only now do one more test case we want that if for some of the vendors let's consider let's let me open those vendor i want that if products will be received from router then it follows the two steps for another vendors it follows the three steps so again we are going to use the concept of domain on rules so let me go to the warehouse i am on the warehouse this is my tech area routes is there 
and let me open this route what I want I want that if my vendor so for that I have to search for procurement group in the procurement group I am searching for that partner because my vendor is nothing but what partner is that and this is not equal to voucher so here where is my yeah, this is voucher and I'm just going to save it okay and let me and for that it will be from input to stocks so now let's purchase the product from water and let's check what happens it follows the two step or three steps so it's a water is there yeah I'm selecting any of the products from just going to confirm receipt is there it from vendor to input validate next transfer and great it will be from input to stocks okay and that's fine and if you are going to purchase from another vendor let's check that okay now i'm purchasing from not router from another guy and who is my mac okay now i am doing the test case with the same okay one i'm just going to confirm receipt is there validate next transfer and input to quality so just using those two main and rules you can do it in seconds and everything will be in one route you can taste from your sites and let me know if you are stuck somewhere we are happy to support you thank you everyone